Chicago's a town rich in history and tradition. Chicago's a world-class city full of energy and excitement. As we continue our look back at the career of Kathy Brock, you might recall that Kathy used to sit alongside another man during the 6 p.m. newscast because it was 25 years ago she joined the legendary Floyd Calber. Now, Calber passed away in 2004, but he was a force in TV news, and many, including Kathy, actually wondered if that anchor team was truly going to work. Eyewitness News this morning. It was 1993, and after three years of getting up at 2.30 in the morning to anchor the morning show with me here at ABC7, Kathy was promoted, moving her broadcast time 12 hours later to do the 6 p.m. news. But that new assignment would come with a sizable caveat. Good evening, Chicago. They have Kathy would be sitting alongside Floyd Calber, a.k.a. the Big Tuna, a nickname inspired by a Chicago mob boss. And if that wasn't intimidating enough, Calber's solo act had dominated the TV ratings with his command presence and no nonsense delivery. I remember calling him up and saying, uh, I'm so excited to work with you, Mr. Calber. <laughs> I hope it's good for you. And he said, well, I don't know about that, but he said, it's certainly a good thing for you. Kathy now is joining us at six o'clock in the evening on Channel 7 to do this newscast each day. It was Floyd's show for sure. And I was smart enough to understand that he'd been in the business forever. And um, he put up with me. He called me the girl. <laughs> Bob Vesey was the longtime producer of our 6 p.m. news. I don't think on a daily basis that it was a fun job for Kathy necessarily when she started. She handled it with such grace, dignity, and class that it was unbelievable. She helped move this station and Floyd Caliber into the next century of broadcasting. I remember Floyd having um, a tiny bit of angst about having a co-anchor, but I remember Kathy saying, oh no, you're going to have a co-anchor and it's going to be me. <laughs> While it certainly was not the first male-female anchor team here at ABC7, viewers and many women journalists still took notice of the shift at the 6 p.m. anchor desk. It was a successful union, lasting five years until Floyd Calber retired. She really has um, just been that icon and that role model that I think a lot of women look up to. I I'm not sure I ever really felt like a trailblazer. I just wanted to make it work and hang on. <laughs> Well, you did that, that's for sure. Made it work indeed. And you know, it was interesting because we really didn't, I don't think Floyd thought it was going to work. And, and we made it five years, and he'd only anchored with one other woman, Jane Polly, right. for a little less than a year. And it wasn't a great pairing. And I think that um, over the five years, Floyd and I actually grew very fond of one another. Well, there truly was a glass ceiling on this anchor desk at 6 o'clock, and you broke it. And others, uh, many others, actually, have you to thank for it. That's a wonderful thing. It was thing. fun. All right, Kathy, tonight at oh. 10, we're going to take a look back at the rest of Kathy's time on to Behind the Sanker Desk, including the fun that the two of us have had at times in these seats as well. So join that tonight at 10. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.